I'll be discussing with you the materials that I use for my drawings. So let's start with my drawing kit. Let's open this. First, we have this sketch pad. Basically, this is available in any stores. You can just find them over school supplies. Next, we have this grayscale value finder. I'll also be explaining later how to use this. So just to give you a quick run through, we'll just be using this, comparing it with the different hues of colors or shades of gray. Comparing this with that, comparing this color with that, or another this with that. Soon, I will explain more on that on other videos. Now I have my laminated drawing. Laminated drawing for me, I use that as a cover. Whenever I do drawings, I just put this laminated cover on top of this so that my hands will not get dirty with the graphite and the pencils. So, moving on, we have various pencils. For the pencils, I basically use a lot of types, but basically, we mostly use four different types. Where in first is the 2H, wherein we use this 2H for doing the outlines or doing the grids. So for me, this brand, Stadler, Stadler 2H, this is what I personally use for my outlines and my grids. After the 2H, basically this is still the same. Sometimes I have a lot of pencils of the same type because I just want to sharpen them automatically so that when I draw, I just keep on drawing. So this is it. Basically, it's almost the same. After that, I have a 2B pencil. The 2B, still uh, Stadler brand. I mostly use this for starting with my base tones or more on the details. I do like the 2B very much. I also have here a I have here a 5B but still you can use 4B in lieu of 5B. I use this for more darker tones and for the darkest I only currently have my 6B pencil, still the uh, Stadler brand. Uh, I personally like the Stadler brand compared with the others because it gives uh, it gives a different, a more consistent type of shade. Comparing it here, I will also discuss this on different on a different video. So as you can see, the Stadler brand, which is this one, basically the colors are more, uh, the shades are more consistent as compared with the other brands. So I'll discuss this later. Next, I have this gadget I bought at Lazada. This is what we call automatic eraser. What's nice about this is that it has a button right here wherein this eraser automatically rotates. So we use this to erase or to correct or to give a white feature on our drawing. I'll give an example of this one. So that's it very easy to use 
I also have here a forgot this name it's a water blade we use this to etch drawings so that it will leave a white mark however I'm not a master of this yet so I'm not a fan of this this type of tool I only have this brush currently I use this brush to wipe away any erasure marks that I use but soon I'll also be trying the different brushes so that we can mix graphite more easily also here we have the different blending stumps it depends on the size the smaller one and the larger one we also have some unused stumps here I can also buy this at any coffee supply Also here, I have this, what do you call this? The purpose of this protractor is actually to measure further for any comparison in your drawing. So I'll also explain this later so that in your reference drawing, you can use this one and correlate it with your existing drawing. This one I just also personally purchased a few months ago. This is a white pen. I uh, also bought this at Lazada. Basically this white pen also serves as a whiting mark for your drawings. For me personally I use this pen when I do highlights on the eyes or on shades of the teeth. I'll give an example here so let's use this one as you can see I'll just put a white mark on this So there you have it, a few white dots, no need to erase, but then it leaves somewhat of a mark on your paper. I also have here my magnifying glass. The use of this magnifying glass, when I have personal pictures, I use to zoom it with this one. If you're a, a traditional artist, if you want to zoom further or to look within your drawing within your reference basically use this one I also have here my rulers so basically the use of the ruler is the one wherein we make the grids we basically make grids in our drawing so that it will be an exact proportion later I will also explain this on a separate video you have the regular eraser, stadler. I also have this mechanical pencil. This mechanical pencil, uh, the lead used with this is a 2B type. So I personally like this one, especially when I'm doing details of the hair. For example, for this one, if I want to make streaks of black with my drawing, I basically add a few streaks of this. Now, what I personally like about this mechanical pencil is that there is already no need to sharpen. As it is always sharp, you can easily add detailed, more detail to your drawings. Also here, I have this very simple uh, sharpener, it's paper castle. So this is what I use when I get to sharpen my pencils. 
my preference is that I do my sharpening before I start my drawing. So here, last but not the least, will be the grids. Basically, I have a lot of grids that I use. This one is basically a piece of uh, laminated sheet wherein I just photocopied a grid so that we can place it on our reference picture. From your reference picture, you draw it to your paper, at least you can get to have a guide. This one is used for smaller pictures for the 2R or 3R type. This one we can also use for the larger scale pictures. Just put it on top of your picture and then you find another paper for your drawing. So just recreate the grid. So basically that's it. But another alternative that I use this time is this application. I'll also explain it on another video. This is Drawing Grid. So from here, I'll give an example. So from this one, automatically the grid is available. You can set the picture to black and white so that we can have an easier reference. Put it square and then put diagonal lines so it's basically the same so it's a more techy option as compared to the traditional grids which I used when I was way back in college which was a long time ago so basically that's it thank you very much and see you on my next videos for tutorials